Welcome, everyone, and glad to have you with us from williams Bryce Stadium, home of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Naki and all of his friends ready to go and amped up for what we have in store. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see the number five team in the country, the Ole Miss Rebels, taking on another SEC rival, the South Carolina Gamecocks. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Rebels will boot it away to start the game. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Offense getting set for first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Unloads it left. He makes a catch. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. When you're throwing these comeback routes, man, the timing has got to be so good between the two of them because you know the ball is going to be in the air a long time. You can't throw it late. It's going to get picked. That time, really nice job getting it out early and the receiver doing a nice job on his route so that the ball was right on him as soon as he turned around. They'll leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. Or if I can quote the great Reese Davis, that was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. The Gamecocks want to pick up the tempo. They'll go right back to the run. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. Looking to throw, it's Sellers. He's got his man across the middle. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. You know, as a defense, you can have the right call and the right guy in the right spot, but that guy's just too good. And how about the running back on that play? Just making it happen, breaking off the huge game. It's tough to get these guys on the ground. And the Gamecocks have it with a first and 10. They'll ride the hot hand. Defense there to make the stop after a pickup of two to the 30. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll try the run. Tough sledding there as he picks up one to the 29. It's a makeable field goal from the 29-yard line. Let's see how aggressive they are on third and long. Looking downfield, it's Sellers. He's got an open man. He'll be brought down at the three-yard line. An explosive play in the passing game as him on the doorstep. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. 
You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. The Gamecocks have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. They'll run it to the left here, looking for the goal line. And he'll find the end zone. Touchdown, Gamecocks! The offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise in the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He showed you all of his ability on that TV. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. An 84-yard drive there, and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. For wide receiver screen to work, you've got to have better blocking out in front by other receivers, and they're just not physical enough at the point on that last play. And the Rebels racing to the line in the hurry up. Out of the gun, the running back has it. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Here's the handoff. Really nice run. Rips off six on the play, but it brings up a fourth and two. This is an interesting decision now for the head coach. You're trailing very early in the game. There's a lot of football left. But you're in a situation where you could go for it here and try and answer after your defense gave up that touchdown on the open drive. The Rebels line up to punt it away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. They make the stop, but there is a penalty marker down. Let's see what the call is. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Lost to throw on first down off the play fake. Catch in the middle. It's Harris. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. The give out of the gun. They make the stop as he gets it inside the 30 to the 28, a gain of four. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. He'll keep it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. This crowd, full throat, spreading the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. To the air. It's dark. Might be looking to run. 
And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. And he'll envision the ball flight as he lines it up from the right hash and 38 yards out. Between the uprights, it's good. Well, the head coach decided to play it safe on fourth and inches and tried his field goal team out there, and his field goal kicker just made him look like a pretty smart guy. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. And the coverage team gets to return her on the ground. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. And it was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and hit And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. And the Gamecocks in the hurry up. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Most offensive schemes are predicated on first down productivity. That will not go down as a productive first down play. No, it will not, Reese. Give this defensive line credit, because they were able to get penetration right off the snap and force a negative play. Wide out in motion. On the move. It's Sellers. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. I think he got a little bit sloppy on that route. You need more separation if you're going to give your quarterback a better target trying to complete that in. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the tight end. Got him downfield. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. Defenses throughout the week study every third down situation. You've got to be ready for what they do, how they do it, and then be able to adjust. Great job by the offense so far having success. The Gamecocks are on the move. Off the play fake on first down. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. The offense in hurry up mode. Fast motion. It's loose. Now look what I found. I'd say that's a stroke of good fortune. The offense keeps it. That ball carrier is very lucky. That easily could have ended up in the hands of the defense. You have got to do a better job of ball speed. They've got the ball at midfield, but they're facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle, it's Harbor. Offense on the move. A big play there, gets it to the 30. How many first downs is that just on this drive? We're going to have to get the training staff to, to give some IVs and get some bananas, and we better stay hydrated because at this rate, the defense is going to play way too many snaps. And the Gamecocks come to the line with a new set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Shoots it to the left. It's complete. Gets out of bounds after the big game, but they've got it first and goal. 
And this is why it's so important, David, to get the run game going because it sets up play action and gives them an opportunity to take these types of shots down the field. And it's just so hard because as a, as a defensive lineman, when you give the play action, I, I'm thinking run, I'm playing run, slows that pass rush down just enough and sucks those linebackers up, make those passing windows so much bigger. Nice job by the offense. It's complete. They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. And I love working the slot receivers. You see so much of that. It's about matchups, right? I can put a fast guy in that slot, maybe get him matched up on a linebacker or a safety. I like working those guys in those matchups. Favorable for the offense for sure. Movement here from the tight end. They're trying to slam it in. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Gamecocks. Backed up in the shadow of their own goalpost. No problem. When you start in the black zone inside your own 20 coming out, it's difficult. You can give up a safety. You get worried about that. The offense puts a great drive together. Great job executing. Great job getting a touchdown. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. So a drive there of 85 yards and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Slings it downfield. It's incomplete, and trust me, you will not see that very often from this guy. It's second down. Man, when you go over the middle, you got to be willing to take the punishment. You're going to get hit a lot of times anyways, so you might as well catch the football, but his arms starting to look a little bit like Reese Davis when the check comes at dinner. That last incompletion leaves them with second and 10 from the 21. They almost got a first down there. Stop the yard short. It'll be third down. And the Rebels moving quickly to the line. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line, and it'll be a first down. You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And the quarterback is snowed under. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. Pulls and throws off the RPO. They get him down after he makes the catch. It's early in the game, and as offenses try to get their rhythm, these easy completions are very important because that's what helps you get your feet underneath you as an offense and as a unit. And hopefully, as this game goes on, they'll be able to rev up and get more aggressive taking shots. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. The 
They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. From the gun, the ground game. He breaks a tackle and runs through another one. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. Man, I just love physical backs that break tackles and get those extra yards and show that toughness, Palmer. He's so hard to get on the ground, David. He plays with great pad level and also has phenomenal balance for a running back. The Rebels getting set on first and ten. Quarterback on the keeper. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Well, good decision there by the QB. A little zone read action. He reads the defensive end, crashing down, keeps it himself. Gets a nice chunk of yards. And when you do that, you sort of get the drive going or keep it going, as the case may be. It's amazing in college football now how big of a part of each offense the zone read has become. As we're seeing more and more athletic quarterbacks on rosters now. That is a staple of the sport. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. This is an offense, guys, that really believes in physicality, and that's their identity. So running the ball on second down, no problem for them. And the Rebels want to crank the tempo. They'll give it to him again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and force a tackle for a loss. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Looking for a crease. It's Bentley. And the defense had his hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. They'll try to cap off this drive with a field goal. And he'll try to knock through a short one, his second of the day. This one from 23. And he missed it. No good. My goodness, you need those field goals, guys, to cut into that deficit. We're still at 11. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance. You run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. Scanning the field, it's Sellers. Fires it beautifully in on the crosser. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Hey, we're getting close to halftime, and it looks as if the big fella wants to be all over the highlights. Goodness gracious, he, he is open. When he leaves the huddle, apparently he's open. A ton of catches already early in this ball game. They are featuring him and finding him. Looking to move it through the air. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. He's got it down the left. Touchdown, South Carolina! 
lineup. And once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. Look, it's still early, but we have some real distance being put on the scoreboard right now. You do. It's early, but you got to find something positive. Right now, everything going in the other direction. So how are you going to respond when you've been hitting the mouth early in this football game? Got to find something positive quick. He'll try to tack on one more. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a huge play in the passing game, covering 67 yards to the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Bringing it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. This is hardly the start they dreamed of, down 21-3. But get a touchdown here, and you feel like you're back in it, Jesse. Yeah, and it's frustrating for this offense as well, because they've got the horses. They've got playmakers to light this scoreboard up, much more than the three points we're seeing here. I think you just got to stay true to yourself, do you, David, and know that the points are going to come. Well, it's also frustrating when the defense is giving up points almost every single possession. So they they need to score here and take this down and have a good drive, and then the defense needs to pull their weight a little bit, too. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard game. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. The Rebels come to the line in the hurry up. They'll run the option. Now the toss. They'll finally make the tackle, but that option was executed to perfection. It's great awareness by the running back, understanding where the first down marker is and doing whatever it takes to get it. And the Rebels have it with a first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Quarterback tried to scramble around for a while, but the defense able to bring him down. I know it's early in this game, but man, this defense has had their number. They did a great job, already built a huge lead, now getting this offense in a situation where they got to pass the football, and they better protect their quarterback better than they are right now. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. From the gun, the running back has it. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Just a short pass to the tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. The Rebels will punt this one away. On the move, looking for a little sliver of hope. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Looking for room, it's Sanders. Dragged down after a pickup of five out to the 35. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll pull it on the read. They'll get him at the 45, but he got 10 on that one. 
There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all of the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. After trying the running game on first down, they come to the line on second down. Give to the running back. Tackled after picking up the first down. Well, I love the job by the offensive line, getting a good push there on second down. And you see guys bleeding into the second level of the defense, getting a hat on hat to go get that first. The Gamecocks have this offense rolling. Looking downfield, it's Sellers. Going downfield for the big play. And they weren't able to make the connection. They were looking for an explosive play. Yeah, you can tell the timing wasn't great and quarterback and receiver not on the same page. But when you're going to miss, don't miss towards the DB. You definitely want to miss out towards the sideline so you don't get yourself in trouble. The incompletion leads to second and ten. To the ground with the back. They'll pick up five. It'll be third and five. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. They'll run play action. And they fail to hook up on third down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football. And I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And the Gamecocks decide to punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David. Only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. The passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. And you know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early in this one. They just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one -on -one matchups. Fires to the middle. Makes a connection. The defense got caught that time, and they finally get him on the ground at the 41. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. Back to throw. It's dark. Fires to the wideout. Complete to the right. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Man, listen, you get zone coverage, and you can hit that curl route, and he comes open continually. Keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. And the Rebels want to move quickly. The aerial assault continues. Quickly complete. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese, they can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss, he can take it to the house. Offense gets set for second down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That play had zero. 
zero shot. They got to do a better job up front, create some running lanes, and running back before he could go anywhere, get tackled, nowhere to go. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, try and have a big completion here. Fires into traffic, and it's picked off. Not much on that return, but I think they'll let him slide after making that pick, and they'll have it at the 20. It's so nice to see defenders squeeze that pigskin. A lot of times, in great position, you see him there to make the play, but there's a reason they play defense. Not this time. Great job securing the interception. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. They've been outstanding here in this first half. Might as well try for the knockout punch, David. Yeah, confidence has to be at an all-time high. Great first half. I'm going to get more. I'm not scared with the lead when I got the football. Yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You can see the quarterback's body language. He wants to go. He wants to go tempo. He wants to take shots. They're trying to light this scoreboard up. One play in this drive and already out to the 41. It's first down. He's going to pass. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Sanders. And he is going to be forced out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Tremendous defense there. How about the job in recognition by the defense? They knew exactly what they were trying to set up, and they had multiple defenders surrounding that intended target so that there was nowhere for him to go into cover. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Well, the offense trying to attack the perimeter of the field in the passing game, and how about the, the sweet feet by the receiver on that play? Who doesn't like a little dash of the arts with their football? A little ballet moment there. The D thinking bring some heat on third and long from the 44. Pressure coming. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. The Gamecocks will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll get it out to about the 20-yard line, and that's where they'll mark him down. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. These guys have taken some body blows in the first half, but now a chance to do something to feel a little better going into halftime. Reese, they got to respond now. They, they, they got to put points on the board right here, cut into this deficit, create a little bit of momentum, because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise. Yeah, there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say, okay, let's just regroup and figure it out. This offense doesn't have time to do that. They've got to be aggressive. They've got to throw it downfield. They've got to score points. Dropping back, it's dark. This time it's complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. They've been steamrolled so far in this first half, David, but maybe a little positive momentum to take to the locker room. Well, and I like, you got the first first down of the drive. So maybe you can build on this now. I would play with some tempo, obviously getting closer to halftime here. Maybe create some momentum, get a score here, and cut into this lead. Comes out throwing on first down. Going for the big play. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Hey, listen, the quarterback didn't get the completion on that throw, but that doesn't mean you can't try again. Trust in your playmakers outside to push the field and stretch it vertically and make a play for you. It won't surprise me to see this QB take more shots as this game goes on. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. The quick out. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wide out. And that one's incomplete. We're taking a shot there, but couldn't hook up. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. The Rebels will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Mm -hmm. 
not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. They've got time, they've got the lead, and David is sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm, but also, momentum is hard to create and sometimes hard to stop. You have it, so Jesse, don't do anything stupid to create some momentum for the other side. I think a lot of this comes down to your quarterback and whether or not he's making good decisions in this game. If yes, be aggressive. If not, let's just take the lead into halftime and get ready for the second half. Still at their own 20 after that last incompletion, it's second and 10. Couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. Finds a tight end. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Man, this quarterback is having himself a day. Over 200 yards in the first half. It was hard enough for Palmer to get over 200 in a game, more or less in a first half. Clock winding towards zero. They'll get one more snap off. Wants to throw on first down. They're setting up the screen. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. South Carolina. And the Gamecocks will line up to kick off and start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. When you're facing a deficit like this one to start the second half, you really can't afford to waste a single possession. Fresh start here in the second half. That's the only way you can look at this if you're on offense. Things did not go your way there in the first half. It starts with one play. To get our confidence going, we just got to get something going early here on this drive. One play, stay aggressive. Now, now I think I can be even more aggressive on fourth downs because I, I, obviously I've built a deficit. My defense has got to make some plays for me too. From the gun, running back on the move. And midfield, he's got room. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Well, you wonder if one of the adjustments they made at halftime trailing in this game was to try and get the ground game established, David, and they're off to a good start here. Dang right. Stay patient. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to press. Just try to get scoring drives together. Don't abandon the run. They're getting this guy lathered up. On the move at the 30. Well, that's why this running game can be so dynamic. This guy is special when he has the football in his hands. He can make people miss. He can run with power, and he also has speed. You saw it on that last play. And the Rebels are in the hurry up. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They'll give him maybe one on the play. It's down to the 20. At the 20. Brings up second down. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Trying play action. Got his man downfield. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. And those slot receivers nowadays, they're little water bugs, man. You, you could play touch football in an elevator to lose to these guys because they're so quick and so dynamic. Get open and catch the football. First and goal and a great opportunity to slice into this lead. Direct snap. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Rebels! Got to start cutting into this lead somewhere. Now the question, will they have enough time? But that's step one. You got to get that first score. You got to get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side. You still got more work to do, but step one accomplished. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they draw closer. It's 21 to 10. 
So that scoring drive took only six plays. And it was closed out by the short yardage touchdown. They've cut into this lead. It's down to 11 as they're set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they'd get him on the ground at the 20. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Using his legs, it's Sanders. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And not much running room. He had to break a tackle and still break another tackle to try to get back to the line of scrimmage. Not good blocking on the play. Well, that's what coaches always emphasize, too. Never assume a teammate's going to make the tackle. You run to the ball, and they did it there. 100%, especially guys that are so big and strong and elusive nowadays. They're going to break tackles. Keep swarming, keep hitting them. Next guy, don't, don't assume the tackle's going to be made. Finds a little bit of space, gets three to the 22. The Gamecocks headed quickly to the line. To the air, it's Sellers. Getting some heat. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Well, this quarterback's already taken a couple shots from the pocket, and there's another one right there that affected his accuracy on that throw. And the Gamecocks will send out the punt unit. Slips through the line. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. This is a real chance to sort of settle things down, maybe generate a little momentum if you can put together a touchdown drive here. Oh, that would be a great opportunity, a great opportunity to make a statement and get back in this thing. I mean, it hasn't gone your way early, but I feel like you're creating some momentum here. And a score, Jesse, a score makes this a fun ball game. It would be huge, but it's on the offense. They have to look at each other right now in this huddle on the field and go, look, guys, it's on us to march this ball down the field, score some points, and bring some energy now to our sideline. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Every journey begins with a step. This offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Back to the ground game on the left. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, then we're making the backfield for a time for a loss. The Rebels will call on their punt team. He'll try to really get into this one. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. Things have been clicking along nicely, Jesse, but they have to make sure they keep it up. Yeah, they've got to wake up. It seems like they've been a bit lazadaisical here the last few drives, maybe, as we've seen this lead dwindle a little bit, David. So they need a bit of a spark here to get that mojo back. Yeah, and you always have the adjustments, and then your opponent adjusts, and now they got to readjust now because this game's getting a little bit tighter than they liked. And the entire playbook is wide open on second and short like this. Leaves it with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that's a great play by the defensive end. The best athletes on the field play defensive end. You can ask anybody. Yes, I agree, Jesse Reese. See, they agree with me. Same thing. But you watch them get off the football, make the play. That's why you put your athletes there. The Gamecocks will hustle to the line. They'll try to run for it. Shakes off the tackle. 
They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. And they may have caught the defense napping there a little bit, David, maybe expecting pass on that third down, but because of the back's effort now, fresh set of downs. And it's so nice to have a guy that you can give the football on these third down situations and feel confident you're going to continue to move the sticks. Off play action on first down. Just not quite able to make the connection. It's incomplete. That's a ball that this offense should be able to complete. They had the coverage they wanted. Receiver ran on the route. Just an inaccurate throw by the quarterback. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Back to pass. It's Sellers. Quickly to the tight end. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. Motion from the offense. On third down, he drops to throw. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And the Gamecocks send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. What a terrible, terrible shame. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. They'll run it from the gun. Running with power. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. Got three on first down at second and seven. Off play action. Quickly out to the tight end. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. He'll have enough for the first down, and they stop him at the 45. And, David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop it? There's nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. And I love the idea of getting this guy screen throws because of his ability after the catch. So nice job getting downfield, getting a hat on hat, and giving him a tunnel to run through. And the Rebels want to pick up the tempo. Give to the back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating them up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defense. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. They think there's room to run to the right here. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. A famous writer once said, most men lead lives of quiet desperation. Here is a desperate move, going for it on fourth down, trailing by double figures. The Rebels have enough for the first down. 
that was run to perfection. No matter what the defense did, he was going to make sure they guessed wrong. And this coaching staff really shows you the confidence they have in their quarterback. Put the ball in his hands and make him make a decision. He sees the defender, he keeps the football himself, and gets to the outside using his speed to pick up that first. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Offense in the hurry up. Just when they're looking run, now up, he'll take a shot. It's incomplete, almost intercepted in the end zone. It'll be third down. Oh, it's a big blown opportunity by the defense to just kill that drive right there. He had a chance to make that interception in the end zone, but he couldn't come up with it. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. From the gun, running back gets to give. Makes his man miss. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. And the Rebels will line it up on first and ten. Right back to the well. He gets it across the 25 to the 24, give him five on the carry. The Rebels racing to the line in the hurry up. Looking to throw, it's dark. Quick strike complete. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Well, if you're going to get first downs against this defense, you're going to have to earn it. You're going to have to make people miss. This is an excellent tackling unit. You saw it on that last play. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. They'll try to bully their way for the first. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Well, he was able to gash him on that play. You just give this guy one inch, one little crease. He puts his foot in the ground. And he gets north fast. They've been great on third down. Now to finish the deal on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. He's now second and goal. Now on second and goal. Snap it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, and that's a frustrating play when you go in reverse near the goal line. Goal to go situations, Palmer. You got to get those positive yards. You can't go backwards if you're trying to get a touchdown. You know, I'm trusting in my quarterback here to make the right decision. Looks like we're going to have to throw it, right? But if it's not open, just throw this thing away. You don't want to take a sack, lose extra yardage here. Just be smart with the football. Going for six. Grab near the marker. It's Priest Corn. Touchdown, all Miss! And the comeback is on! Field shrinks, tight end grows. Big targets, big results. <laughs> I've never heard it put that way, but you're dang right. That guy is so big, a lot of times you get a DB matched up on him, he can just post him up. A linebacker, he can run by him, so that's why these tight ends are so dangerous down here in this red zone. Now they'll try the two-point conversion and try to crawl within three. Looking for a man. It's dark. Using the quick game. 
He's going to be stopped short as they come up empty on the two-point try. They were hoping to get this game to within a field goal, but the lead stays at five. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner will be knocked down. Looking for a productive play on first down. The run from the shotgun. Now they've got breathing room. Got six all the way out to the 20. The Gamecocks in the hurry up. Looking to pass on second down. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? I think the wide receiver needs to do a better job making it look like he's going deep. He never got the cornerback that time to turn his hips, and because of it, he couldn't separate, and the ball got swatted away incomplete. So third and short from inside the 20. You convert here, and this drive takes on a different complexion. From the gun, wants to pass. Right down the middle. Right through the wicket. He just flat dropped it on the crosser, and it'll be fourth down. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? And the Gamecocks will bring the punt team onto the field. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. This is a game of swings and momentum and a great opportunity here after... Trying to buy a little time, and he cannot, but he does get it back closer to the line of scrimmage. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. Dropping back, it's Dart. Throws to the wideout. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. You know why he's piling up all these yards, David? Because the receivers won't let the ball hit the ground. You remember that Jameis Winston game we called on a Thursday night? Did, the ball didn't even hit the ground, did it? It did not. Two incomplete passes caught out of bounds. And the Rebels will snap it on first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Complete downfield. Smashes through. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, they come up with a huge play. They're going to be down in the red zone now. And I think, David, the mentality changes a little bit for a defense, right? Playing at this position of the field. Yeah, the field shrinks. Now it becomes a little bit easier to play. More man coverage, you know, down in that red area. But giving up the big pass play it's always it's a backbreaker you, you want to make them earn it down the field not give up these big plays but the QB saw it right away and really good job of executing and making the big play well they're trying to run the football there just nowhere to go they got dominated up front at the point of attack the Rebels moving quickly to the line Caught in the backfield, it's Priest Court. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And when this quarterback is in a rhythm, this offense is really hard to stop. You've seen that on this drive. He's three for three, but they're also running the ball well. Everything they're dialing up right now is working. 
So the opportunity with a touchdown here to take a fourth quarter lead. They'll go with a direct snap. Touchdown, Rebels! They move on top here in the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game. Up by one, they'll try to get the deuce and make it a field goal edge. On the option. Now the pitch. He gets into the end zone for the two-point conversion, and the cushion is now three. An impressive 66-yard touchdown drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. South Carolina ready to go on the attack in another offensive odyssey. Going up top on first down. He's going for the big play. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Zone coverage that time, and the cornerback, a nice job with his eyes. He's watching the quarterback. He sees the ball thrown, so he knows exactly when to break on it. He's able to break it up for an incompletion. After the incompletion, it's second down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. On the run, it's Sellers. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And a little more space, open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. Well, the offense able to pick up some extra yards after that curl throw there. And because the QB got it to his guy early, he was able to turn around, make a guy miss, and go pick up some yak. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and 10. He's looking to throw it. He's going to fire deep. They've avoided the interception all day, but they were lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. Well, a great job in coverage on the back end by the defense. He just got to finish the play. That should have been a pick. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. The RPO, fire complete to the left. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Screen pass just not working there. You figure at this point of the game, trailing, you're going to have to be more aggressive and take some shots. You usually run screen passes when you think there's going to be a blitz, but because the defense has the lead, they're just sitting back and playing big zones. They're going to throw it again. Good quickness to grab it off the deflection. They make the stop, but the sweet pulling catch is plenty to give them a first down. That's why everybody has to do the tip drill, DBs and receivers, and it worked out this time for the offense. That's exactly what you want as a defender. Just get your hand on the football, let that thing bounce, and you see so many big plays made, but it was the opposite. It goes right to the wide receiver, makes the play, makes the catch. Man, that's frustrating for a defense. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. The Gamecocks want to crank the tempo. Off the play fake. Fires to the wideout. Makes the grab. They take the lead with the six. Yeah, and a nice job in the fourth quarter making plays and a nice job being on the same page. QB, receiver. You could tell he broke with the football. He caught it in stride, gets into the end zone. Nice pitch and catch right there. Nice chemistry by the QB and wide receiver.
Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Off the play fake on first down to throw. On the run, still looking. He's going to take off. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pickup there. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out. But when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. Looking to push the pace with the no huddle. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And just nowhere to go for that runner. He had no choice. That defense, they were bringing it up front. Everybody winning their one-on-ones. They completely had him surrounded. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll go to the ground. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Rebels will punt it away on fourth down. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He'll feel the putt and try to make something happen. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Gonna run it. It's Sanders. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Play callers love it offensively when you can run the football when the other team knows you're going to do it. That is called imposing your will. And here in the fourth quarter with the lead, very first play of the drive, you break off a nice run. He might just call the exact same play right again here. It's a reverse. Nice move to keep running. He was running through tackles and picked up the first down and finally got knocked down. And the Gamecocks come to the line in the hurry up. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Myers to the big fella. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tackle. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It's hard throwing in the pocket, man. You got bodies and 300 pound dudes falling all over the place. They're trying to hit you. That time, the pressure got to him and they forced the incompletion. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. Back to throw, it's Sellers. Let's it fly deep downfield. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chain. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. Well, the defense hasn't been able to stop this guy all game long, so the offense is going to keep trying to take shots. They thought they had the matchup they wanted, but they're going to force this defense to prove they can stop him. The defense finally came up with a play. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. Running back searching for a hole. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. 
That back had nowhere to go. The defensive line ate up the blocks. But how about the linebackers swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball carrier? They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. It's a draw. Cross the 30 out to the 33 and gains four on the play. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. They'll go to the air. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. And the ball's loose. And the defense grabs it, and they're taking it the other way. And that's a huge play by the defense. Great job and great effort getting to the ball carrier and swatting at the football, knocking it out, and then falling up for a massive fumble recovery. And the South Carolina offense is back on the field. On the run, it's Sanders. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. And I like the first thought process right here. Run the football. We want to run that clock with the lead. Thank you to the defense for forcing that turnover, setting us up. Now if we can put a few first downs together, we're looking really good. The Gamecocks want to move quickly. Just feeds the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, the runner just has to have a little bit more patience. He bounced that thing outside a little too early, and as a result, lost yards. The line to gain here is the 43-yard line, and it's third down. Back to pass, it's Sellers. Pocket starts to collapse. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. And how about the strong safety on that blitz? Great job timing it and also getting to the quarterback. Sometimes you're going to have to negotiate around tight ends and running backs, and that strong safety, he just beelined into the backfield. And the Gamecocks line up to punt it away. That thing was down for a while, but the big bounce carried it into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Last time they had it, they put it on the deck. The football was not riveted to their rib cage, Jesse. Need five points of pressure moving forward, no doubt. And I'll tell you, they knew coming into this game that turnovers were going to be critical. They might give themselves a mulligan for that one, David, but that can't keep happening. Yeah, but don't change who you are and what you are. Don't get gun shy because of mistakes. I think that usually turns into more mistakes. So keep doing you, keep being aggressive. Leaves it with the running back. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. This is as big a play as we've had in this game. Third down and three. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. The Rebels will punt this one away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return. Gets a little bit of ground for the offense. 
They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. I know exactly what I have to do here. Defensively, we've got to get the stop. So we're playing run. We're selling out to run because we're thinking they're going to run the football. And we got three timeouts. Let's use them wisely. Let's use those timeouts, save as much clock as we can so our offense has some time on the clock to do some damage when they get the football back. At this point, the defense has little choice but to sell out to stop the run on second and seven. Going to the ground. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. This is a big third down. If they can move the chains, they can just about salt this game away. Dropping back. It's Sellers. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. The Gamecocks decide to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. And it looks as if this one's going to carry into the end zone for a touchback. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They're going to throw it to start the drive. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. I understand the quarterback wants to get this dominant wide receiver the ball as often as possible, but I wouldn't try to get it to him in double coverage. I think you have to let the defense's coverage dictate who gets the ball. There was somebody else open on that play. After that last incompletion, here's second and 10 from their own 20. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. Well, they've thrown two straight incompletions, and they just need to play pitch and catch on this next play. They're down a possession, and you don't have to necessarily get the first down right here, but if you don't get it, you've got to at least keep the fourth down manageable to give yourself an opportunity to keep pushing the ball down the field and give yourself a shot to win. Grabbed in the middle. It's right. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, it's so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come over. Unloads to the wideout. He just about put this game away if he'd been able to hold on to that one. Instead, it's second down. Well, I know it hasn't been a tremendous day statistically for this quarterback, but his decision-making has been good enough to win this game. Hasn't thrown a lot of TDs so far, but when things aren't open, he throws it away like on that play right there. He's not putting his team in a bad spot, and that's why they still have a shot to walk out of here with a W. Wide open downfield. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. They'll try to get it through the air. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. What a fantastic job by the defense that time, forcing the incompletion. They've got the lead late, setting up fourth down. Can they come up with one more stop? If they get it, they might win this game. On fourth down, flexing that muscle in the run game. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. Well, going for it and getting it on fourth down, close to midfield, I think just gave this offense a ton of momentum. I'm curious to see what they're going to do here. Maybe take a shot and see if they can really seize and capitalize on all this good mojo now going their way. To the air on first down. 
Pulls it in. It's Wells. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory there down at the 43-yard line. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day, so been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big deal today in college football, no doubt. Uh, listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. And guess what? This game is far from over. And now on second down for this offense. Looking for a man. It's Dart. Throws to the wideout. Right through his hands and incomplete, and he'll want that one back. It'll be third down. Third and long, defense knows the pass is coming, so they're going to have guys with their eyes on the QB, but they are going to try to get to him with pressure, pinning their ears back. If you're on offense, you might be thinking blitz here. You better get rid of this one quick. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Fires to the wideout. Another incompletion on third down. After that incompletion, there is so much pressure now on this quarterback to come up with a big play. They need to score a touchdown. They need to keep this drive alive to have any shot at winning this game. But it all comes down to this play right here. Down late in a four-point game, they'll keep the offense on the field on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Finds his man and they convert. And they finally make the tackle, but this will be a pretty easy conversion for this offense. Offense takes a timeout, 27 seconds left. This crowd knows they have to bring it in big moments, and one of those has arrived. Looking to the end zone. Touchdown, all miss. And in the final moments, they've taken the lead. Man, this game has been incredible to watch, and the offense comes through late in the game, takes the lead. What a clutch drive by this offense. Now, I'm looking at you, defense. We got the lead late in the game. I need you to go put this thing on ice and win it for me. This one's big to make sure they can't beat you with a field goal. He's got it, and the lead is up to a field goal. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And what a late touchdown in the final minute that is likely the game winner here. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. Nothing wrong with the touchback, and they wish they had one right now, but he stopped at the nine-yard line. He'll come out throwing on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, no big surprise here in the fourth quarter. The defense expecting pass, and that's why they've got extra DBs on the field. It's almost like a prevent look. Everybody back there staring at the QB. Going to be hard to throw into that. Obviously, the ball falls incomplete. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. To throw, it's Sellers. Here's a throw downfield late. Makes the catch on the left. The expressway is wide open. Touchdown, Gamecocks. And inside a minute to go, and they've got the lead. Man, what a great job by this offense executing down the field, using all of the clock, being smart, getting the big score late, and I think that one should do it. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. 
They might want to consider driving this one through on the ground, get him to touch it, and get that clock running. From inside the 10, here he comes. Probably needed to pick up an extra block or two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Desperation time, and they've got to take a shot at the end zone, David. Yes, we do. We got, we got to bring in the fast guys, bring in the tall guys. Jesse, get that quarterback ready to buy some time and chuck this puppy up. Somebody is just going to have to step up here and make a miraculous play. One-on-one, -on -one, they're just going to have to make the play of their life to win this game. 